Good evening, welcome to another video um, by my good self. Um, right, today, uh, this evening, uh, I'm just sitting down on the sofa in between Christmas and New Year. And it's a small little video for those that are at this time of year looking outside, waiting for the weather to clear. Um, whether it be um you know rain wind uh snow um that those kind of things what people don't know um it's something to be sort of made aware of is regards to um magnetic fields or geomagnetic fields I don't want to get too complicated about it. I'm not a scientist, um, but I think you just need to be made aware of geomagnetic field or the fields. Um, this can affect your GPS, basically. And if it affects your GPS, it could affect your quad. And if it affects your quad, you could lose your quad or it could come crashing down to earth. Uh, or just be very unstable. So, let me just look. So, on my phone here, you'll see. If I just click in here. Right. Okay. So, this is an article on RC Groups. Uh, when was it published? Okay, so it was published over a year ago. But... Um, this talks about um, geo, a geomagnetic field um, <clears throat> changes in the in the atmospheric conditions in the solar system. Um, and if I scroll up here, where does what does this mean for multi rotor use? Probably nothing, but potentially some GPS problems. If you are a user that flies with a GPS a lot. And in which case the, the 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 scout, a lot of you, and including myself, do fly with the GPS. Uh, you may want to be a little cautious. This year, during the peak cycle of sun activity, the magnetic field swap will be accompanied by increased levels of turbulence and sunspots. Sunspots have been known to cause issues with GPS reception, and that is what would be bad for anyone relying on GPS to hold their rig in the air. Okay. <clears throat> now, I appreciate that's a year ago. However you will still get the same problem. Um, different days, different months, different years. It's never going to go away. Um, and some people have said that I've read um, really need to be mindful of it might be bright and it might be fantastic outside, but if you go and switch on your quad and your GPS uh, satellites are not as great as they used to be for whatever reason. It could be down to this geometric field uh, with th that's causing um, the GPS to not lock properly or you're not getting the required satellites, etc, um, etc. Et so how on earth are we going to be able to um, know for sure uh, how this, uh, what, what's in the sky? How do we know? So the best thing that I have found is uh, this app here. It's called Magnetology. Magnetology, what should I say? So if we click on it, Magnetology. It's free download in the Android, the Google Play Store, uh, and this is for Android. So what we have here is a daily update on what the solar system or what the Earth is doing in regards to uh, this geometric field. And as you can see from today, green uh, index rating of three, and that is good. That is good. Um, so there's absolutely no issues at all. 
Um, however, um, if we click on the eye at the top right hand corner, um, it goes on to talk about health of humans. This, you know, geometric storms can affect the health of humans. This can cause aches, dizziness, rapid heart rate, and abnormal blood pressure. It doesn't talk too much. It doesn't. I don't think it even mentions GPS in here. Um, and it goes on and on and on a bit about it. Um, so the higher the KP index, um, the worse um, it's going to get. So, as it says here, the strength of geomet geomatic field distribute, uh, disturbances is characterised by the value. The KP index can be assigned values from 0 to 9, where 0 is the absence of disturbances, and 9 represents extreme strong um, perturbations of the Earth's geoma geomagnetic field. So, um, 3... Is not bad. I currently, if we click back, um, three is good. Three is good. However, um, when we start to, the colours start to change uh, when we start to enter a phase whereby um, the uh, solar system or the geomagnetic field is, is starting to potentially affect GPS. So, what I'm trying to say is if you've got an Android phone or tablet, um, certainly get uh, this app here. Um, and it is um, a very handy um, guide to maybe how your quad might perform or why you're not going to get such good GPS satellite or GPS locks on your Scout. Um, in the meantime... Um, Keep up with the flying. Um, don't take this too seriously, but it's something worth bearing in mind that it's only going to take you five seconds to just load up the app and see what, what's going on out there. Um, and I just wish you happy flying. So take care, and I'll speak with you again soon. Goodbye. Right, um, just a quick update. Whilst I've literally only done the video no more than um, half an hour ago, and you'll notice um, that tomorrow, Tuesday the 30th of December, depending on when you're listening or when you're viewing this, but it's going to be the 30th of December 2014, it's gone up to four from three. My previous video showed everything to be pretty normal. Tomorrow... Uh, it's up to four. Uh, when you click on it, significant disturbances in the Earth's geomagnetic field likely affects on human health. Not too worried about that. Uh, and the work of communication systems. So what it's saying is, be prepared that tomorrow might not be a good day for flying. So, um, yeah, it's worth um, bearing, let's say, this app in mind. Um, and I just thought I'd uh, update you guys to show you just how it works. Um, and then, as you can see on New Year's, uh, yeah, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, sorry, I should say, uh, it, it drops down again. Um, so, the information on my first video uh, wasn't as up to date, literally giving it half an hour and it's all changed again. So, uh, apologies for that, but um, I just thought I'd uh, let you guys know. Cheers.